Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner, and today we have a brand new one from Air Arms from the UK, the S510 Tactical and 22 caliber. So the S510 Tactical is the latest offering from Air Arms. It's available in 177, 22, and 25 calibers, of course. And this is built on their S510 XS frame. So you have a fully regulated system, but with a lot of new features that make this tactical. Now, before we get into the details on the S510 Tactical, let's do a little housekeeping first. A uh, couple things. Number one, YouTube is definitely limiting our reach, whether you call it shadow banning or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the notification system has changed, so even if you have that little bell icon clicked, it's not necessarily notifying everybody when we upload new videos. We know that for a fact. It is what it is, uh, but uh, it would help us a ton, guys, if you can like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and share the hell out of this video. That's the only way we're going to kind of bust through that algorithm and make sure that this content is getting out to the rest of the world, uh, being kind of semi-gun related. YouTube thinks that this is a firearm and has some issues with that, so it's going to change the things we can and cannot show you here on screen, uh, but we're going to do our best to make sure that you are getting all the same content that you guys love uh, and show you exactly what this gun is capable of. Now, the last little bit of housekeeping we have today is we're going to tell you about today's video sponsor, and that's Pyramid Air. I don't know if you guys realize this, but uh, you know, Pyramid Air is the only one that sponsors these videos. We don't take money from any manufacturers of scopes, optics, rings, guns, whatever. Uh, it is all paid for by Pyramid Air. They pay me to be here to make the content for you guys. And this is something that I take a lot of pride in, uh, in terms of presenting these things to you with integrity and uh, honesty. Uh, and that's really the most important thing. So, you know, if you don't know about Pyramid Air, you stumbled onto the channel by happenstance. We've been in business for over 25 years, uh, selling all all things air powered. We got into crossbows last year as well. So we try to have a nice wide array of stuff for your uh, outdoor needs. Anyway, that's all about Pyramid Air. Uh, let's get back to the video and break this bad boy down. All right, so the S510 Tactical, let's start at the muzzle. So we have a new tactical moderator, that's what they're calling it. Uh, does a very nice job of keeping the gun quiet. Very similar to the Q-Tech in terms of noise output from this guy, and it is permanently affixed to the shroud, so you're not gonna be able to take this on and off. Uh, dropping down, we do have our normal air arm style fill fitting there, their T-bar fill fitting, and you are going to get the corresponding adapter that you are going to have to get a quick disconnect for. This is threaded 1 8 BSPP, so you get the little QD guy, it's about 10 bucks. You throw it on there and you're good to go. They did put some nice uh, texturing onto that cap there. I would like to see Air Arms go to a quick disconnect. It's been the gripe for years, uh, but they're sticking with their proprietary fill method. We get it. It is what it is. Uh, now, you'll notice on the air cylinder here that this has a different finish. Normally, these cylinders are blued. This has more of a Cerakote style finish to it, uh, something that's going to be a little bit more durable for you uh, and matches the shroud actually really nicely and the rest of the chassis as well. Now the S510 Tactical is built off Air Arms carbine platform. So you have a 185-ish cc air cylinder and a Lothar Walther barrel, of course. So we're expecting great accuracy, but it is fully regulated like the rest of the line at this point, bearing the XS moniker. Uh, but really the departure for this gun is this tactical chassis system. And we have a ton of M-Lock slots here, uh, not just on both sides, but also on the bottom. And it does come supplied with this very long Picatinny rail, which goes right into those M-Lock sections. You can mount your bipods, accessories, what have you. And you get so much M-Lock space here that you could accessorize this thing until your heart's content. You could put lights, lasers, really whatever you want. So if you are a tactical guy, this is going to fit the bill for you. Nicely. The gun does also come with a mag pull foregrip if you're into that sort of thing. Not something that I really have a use for in our testing here, but does come with it as well. And if you have an AR at home, you could certainly throw it on that too. Now moving back on the chassis, we do have our gauge on the underside of the rifle here. Max fill of 250 bar like the rest of the regulated guns. Uh, and you can see this is a really slim profile setup. Uh, you have a nice Magpul grip on here as well. It does have kind of a grippy texture. I believe that's their uh, K2 texturing. Uh, but a nice kind of tactile feel there. And moving up on the breech, you'll notice that Air Arms has done something different here. We have a Picatinny rail section as opposed to the normal 11 millimeter dovetail that we see on most of the other guns. 
And the real big change, one I think all of you guys are gonna like quite a lot, is the drop down on the side lever. It makes running this gun just so easy and smooth. Uh, you can do it all without breaking position. It is super nice and probably my favorite feature or enhancement on this new S510 Tactical that I hope they integrate into the rest of the line. As has become standard with the S510 line, we do have our power adjuster. Now this has five steps to it. So five different power levels. We'll figure out what those are doing when we get onto the range with you. Uh, but it does come with two 10 round magazines here in 22. They're all 10 rounds actually for all calibers. So that's a nice kind of commonality that we don't see in a lot of lines. Uh, the trigger, probably my biggest gripe with the air arms guns outside of that fill system is that the safety here is on the trigger. You push it over to make the gun hot and ready, uh, push it back in to make it safe. It is conveniently located, but I'd rather have it anywhere but the trigger. It's just kind of like yeah. Now moving on back to the buttstock, we also have a Magpul buttstock on this gun as well. Uh, and for those of you that may be looking to add another buttstock or a different buffer tube length, something like that, if you want to modify this further, it does come with its own kind of castle wrench here. Uh, and this is not the normal style castle nut we would see on an AR-15. So you just lock it in to that position right there and you're able to twist it on, off, tighten it, loosen it, whatever you need to do with it. Uh, but the buttstock itself as it comes is actually quite nice, uh, fully adjustable. You've got a nice amount of length adjustment to it and it also locks in place there. Uh, so it will keep it from moving easily anyway, uh, but you can simply unlock it by depressing that tab firmly and adjusting it to wherever you need it. Now we've already got our Element Helix mounted up with some UTG Pro rings onto this gun, a real nice fit, uh, six to 24. It's a very nice scope for the money one. I think you guys will like a lot if you haven't checked it out already. Uh, but since we're already scoped up and ready to go, let's head out to the range and see how the S510 Tactical performs. So the S510 Tactical, obviously the S510s in general, always very accurate guns, but this was different. Uh, this was just super easy to shoot. I don't know how to describe it to you guys. This just put the pellets where they needed to go. Uh, and honestly, like we had a lot of pellets shoot sub one inch at 45 yards, almost everything, but these are the four best. So starting it off three quarters of an inch, you've got the air arm 16 grains, uh, same as the JSB 15.89s for the most part, uh, three quarters inch, 10 shot group, uh, phenomenal there, you know, certainly good enough. FX hybrids, bit of a surprise. The only slug that shot well, uh, five eighths of an inch for all 10 there. Uh, so pretty darn good shooting there. And another five eighths inch group, you have the Crossman Premier 14.3s. This thing just shoots them all, uh, but the best by far coming in at a half an inch. These are the JSB 18.13s, absolutely phenomenal accuracy. Really no surprise, uh, but again, this gun's just so easy to get good accuracy out of. I'm very impressed with it overall. Cycling it is just a breeze with that new drop down lever. Uh, let's get it over the chronograph though and see what it's doing speed wise. Let's take a look at the chronograph numbers here. So from a full 250 bar fill, you can expect 30 to 35 good shots on the reg here down to about 135 bar. That's where it fell off the reg in our testing. And of course, this is all with the transfer port wide open on that highest power setting. Uh, you're using JSB 18 grains was shot the best for us, an average of 885 feet per second. Works out to around 31 and a half foot pounds of energy. And of course, as you would expect with these excess regulators, an extreme spread of just 12 feet per second, standard deviation of two feet per second. These numbers look great. Let's take a look at what you're doing with those different transfer port settings here. So wide open, 31 and a half foot pounds around 885 with the 18 grain JSBs. Dropping it down to the next lowest you're at setting four, you're looking at 860 feet per second. That's just under 30 foot pounds. And we really see a nice drop there to the third power setting, that middle of the road, 23 foot pounds, 750 ish feet per second. Uh, and from there we go real low power. So setting number two is just over 12 foot pounds running right around 570 feet per second. If you're gonna run the gun this low, you're probably gonna to wanna to go to a lower, uh, lighter weight pellet rather. And setting number one, 
I don't know why you would use this. It's going to give you a ton of shots. Maybe you're plinking in the basement or something. Uh, but with those heavy 18 grain pellets, you're looking at 340 feet per second. Really nothing. The gun's almost dead silent. You think it's broken. Uh, but basically, that's the breakdown of those power levels with the 18 grain JSBs. So the Air Arms S510 Tactical obviously performs extremely well. It it's very much lives up to the expectations, the high expectations that Air Arms has established uh, in the air gun industry. Uh, nice and quiet with this new moderator, like that a lot. Uh, I do like the new finish on the air cylinder. I would like to see that get integrated. Don't get me wrong, I, I love bluing. I think it looks great. Uh, but this is definitely more rugged and something you're not gonna have to worry about so much if you're in the field with the gun. The chassis system is really nice. I was very surprised by this. Air Arms, not a company known for kind of tactical stuff. This is really their first foray into that part of the market, uh, and they've knocked it out of the park. This thing is comfortable, feels good, handles nicely. Uh, it's just really a pleasure to shoot, and one that was super easy to get good accuracy with right away. Uh, the Magpul accessories are super nice. If you guys don't own an AR-15, you know, Magpul's one of the better known names in that space, uh, so obviously you're getting good quality stuff there. You have the drop down on the side lever. That's phenomenal. I want to see this on the rest of the air arms line that is a nice one for sure obviously you still have the same features regulated transfer port power adjustment uh, everything works as a great system on this gun uh, and really for me my only two gripes that trigger safety you know the location of it's not something i personally care for and the fill system i would love to see air arms go to a quick disconnect we'll see if that happens i don't know uh, maybe one day down the road but those are really my only two gripes this gun performs phenomenally well uh, and is definitely one you should check out if you're in the market for a tactical PCP. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Let us know what you think of the new S510 Tactical. If this is something you're going to be picking up or if it's not for you, let us know why down in the comments. Let's keep that conversation going and don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate it a ton. We know a lot of you guys are not subscribed to the channel when you watch these videos, but we would appreciate it. Uh, keeps us going and keeps us kicking the YouTube algorithm right in the ass. So something to keep in mind there. We also appreciate it if you share the video, let your friends know, your air gun buddies, all about this S510 Tactical. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patton. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well, and we'll see you at the next one.